Alright guys, so we're gonna be doing a FIFA tier list from the best FIFA Ultimate Team, all the modes, like basically the whole game. We're gonna do a tier from FIFA 09 to FIFA 23, which is the current one there is right now. So we're gonna do, like we're gonna be rating each FIFA from horrible, decent, good, amazing, and so which means like the best, like the S tier. But we put S instead of Sui, you get it, cause the S. I know that was horrible, but so we're gonna begin with FIFA 9, FIFA 10, FIFA 11, like that, right? So we'll go FIFA 9. I think FIFA 9, um, that's one of the first few FIFAs I started playing. So I'm gonna give it a, a good because um, there wasn't much as of they have right now, like Ultimate Mode, like Volta. I used to like to play in the practice arena. It used to be really fun to play in the practice arena, especially with Ronaldinho, bro. I think. FIFA 09 is a good tier. Let's go to FIFA 10. FIFA 10, I didn't get to play much. I remember playing it on the PlayStation 2. No, yeah, PlayStation 2. I played on the PlayStation 2 before. And then on the PSP, I played it a little bit. But besides that, I'm gonna give it a good two because I didn't get to play it much, but you know, it's a this it's good, it's good, right? It's it's not it's, it's, it wasn't a horrible game or a bad game to say, but it was it was fun to play. So, especially um, what's it called? What was that mode? Um, I used to I used to like just playing one v once. One v once for me was just like fun, and now we do like tournaments. They would, they would be fun. But let's go to FIFA 11. I this is when I started playing FIFA 11 in the 360. I used to play the demo a lot at first. FIFA 11 for me is another good. I feel like I don't know. I feel like there wasn't much modes as there is right now. I I think ultimate uh, ultimate mode ultimate team carries FIFA now because besides that nobody plays Volta or besides that. But FIFA 11 goes on good. FIFA 12, I'm gonna say decent man. To be honest, I didn't like it much for me because could we all have different opinions. But FIFA 12, I didn't like it as much as I would want. But FIFA 12 was as decent, to be honest, man. FIFA 13. FIFA 13 was probably one of the most funnest FIFAs I have ever played. So probably like top top 5. Top 5 best FIFAs I have ever played of all time. I'm going to be putting FIFA in the amazing... Sui. 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 Because FIFA 13... If you tell anybody about FIFA 13, they're gonna say good stuff about it. Uh, that's when I started. I first started playing Ultimate Mode. Ultimate Mode. Oh, oh, mm. I don't know why I keep saying Ultimate Mode, but I started watching YouTube like World to Shore. Was would I watch uh, Mini Minter called Freezy? That's when I started watching the YouTubers, and I started liking FIFA more. Let's go to FIFA 14. That's when they started going on the PlayStation 4. Now I know many people loved FIFA 14 because. It was a it was a really really like really fun game to play especially that's when ultimate team went up that's when more people started playing ultimate team and we all know ultimate team now because of fifa 13 and 14 and 15 to be honest so 14 for me i'm gonna put it in amazing to be honest because i didn't get i, I didn't get to uh play much but i got to play this in a lot of time but you know I, f I didn't I didn't feel like I didn't have much fun on FIFA 14, but it was still it was still a good game like good gameplay ultimate team was good uh, Yeah, besides that like anything else like the friends, you know, already know everybody knows that but FIFA 14 goes in the amazing mode and right, let's go to FIFA 15 FIFA 15 so FIFA 15 top tier of my favorite top five fifas of all time because i i really love playing uh, fifa mobile was really fun i used to play that a lot on my tablet bro and like on console 2 on console 2 was really fun especially ultimate team dude ultimate team was really fun at that time that that's when it was popping like it was going up up up, up. Uh, more people started playing it that's when what the shot would post mini meter wow i don't know if you guys know about momo fifa hd a bunch of the OGs that used to play FIFA know him about his intro, man. At that time, FIFA was so much fun at that time. So, I'm putting FIFA 15 in the S tier. In the S tier, man. Let's go on to this FIFA 16. You already know. We gotta... 
put it in the third tier because that's when they introduced FIFA Foot Draft. It was so much fun, especially in the demo, bro. When they would they didn't even come out with the demo anymore. But when they would come out with the demo, bro, that's when you knew that mode was gonna be so so much fun, dude. I had so much fun playing foot drafts because I have never seen that type of mode in any game. So it was like really fun for me. And uh, FIFA 16 is a super tier, especially because of foot drafts. You get to play with players that you wouldn't be able to, like, to afford, like Ronaldo, Messi. Like back then, they, was, they were worth a lot. FIFA 16 goes in the super tier. Let's go to FIFA 17. Another banger by FIFA EA Sports. Back to back, back to back, back to back. Bangers, EA Sports was going good. At this time, FIFA, FIFA 17, bro. FIFA 17 was so much fun. It was it was it was similar to FIFA 16, but I think I think FIFA 17. That's when it started to get more competitive because that's that's when they brought back um brought foot champs, which was a new mode. Foot champs, more people started trying hard on the game because they would give like weekly rewards, monthly rewards, and stuff like that. So more people would would make like. Would want to play you know each weekend and and it was fun to be honest FIFA 18 FIFA 18 I feel like I feel like the World Cup mode carried FIFA 18 to be honest FIFA 18 I'm putting FIFA 18 in the amazing because I feel like the World Cup mode carried FIFA 18 because the World Cup mode in the summer was so much fun man especially when they brought it to the to ultimate team it was fun there too even playing normal online or like online tournaments i i'm not sure if there's online tournaments or, or single tournament i think it was single tournaments but it was it was so it was so much fun though either way because the last time was 2014 but it was separate there was two different games there was south africa 2014 and then fifa 14 so they were two different but this one they combined they added um the world cup mode in fifa like in one game so it was so it was really fun so yeah man it goes on the it goes on the amazing tier fifa 19 is up next we got fifa 19 right here fifa 19 that's when fifa started going down here to be honest but fifa 19 i'm putting it in decent because i don't know i didn't i didn't have much fun in fifa 19 i feel like that's when it started going downhill i don't know i don't know what it was about the it was about the game i don't know what the gameplay or the promos i'm not sure but fifa 19 was not good was not good for me bro i didn't like it at all so i'm putting it at decent not horrible yet so fifa 20 that's when everybody went to lockdown more people started playing and more people started to get sweaty on the game um but i put it and but i feel like i feel like this i feel like this is when at the end of the year they started just adding random pack um, random promos combining all the all the promo cards from back then and i, I didn't like that because of that but but that's when they introduced volta back not back not back but like you know like street like fifa street but yeah man i'm gonna be putting fifa 20 in the decent decent because i feel like i feel like volta carried a little bit fifa 20. fifa 21 horrible fifa 21 was horrible horrible the gameplay was horrible ultimate team was horrible uh we we basically got a copy and paste for fifa 20. basically it's basically a copy and paste for fifa 20 fifa 21 basically now now every game every game they come out as a copy and paste all they do is copy and paste but let's go fifa 21 decent because i feel like i feel like they they worked a little bit more than they did in 21 because the gameplay for me was a little bit more faster uh the promos were the promos were a little bit more better than they were in fifa 21 so and it's it was basically the same modes too fifa 20 fifa fifa 20 fifa 21 fifa 22 were the same modes basically but i'm putting fifa 21 in decent mode because it wasn't bad it, it, it wasn't that bad as fifa 21 20 23 i'm putting it as as 
Sorry, team. I'm just kidding, guys. I'm going to decent, to be honest. This year, FIFA has not been great. It just has not been great. After team of the year, EA stopped stopped caring about team of team. Um, Volta. Nobody played Volta, to be honest. I only played Career Mode now, or Pro Clubs, or sometimes Ultimate Team. But to be honest, it's basically the same modes as FIFA 20. The only thing they've added was the World Cup mode, but they messed that up. EA Sports messed up the World Cup mode, bro. Like everybody was so everybody was excited for that mode, and they messed it up. Like the World Cup is every four years, bro. You could have worked on it a little bit more. But no, man, they, they messed it up. <clears throat> the mode was horrible. But I'm putting it FIFA 23 in decent tier. <clears throat> but yeah, guys, this is my tier, man. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Peace.